Hey besties, welcome to another beautiful brand new day. Welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing well and if you're not doing well, let's turn that day around. Let's get started by watching this video which will hopefully bring a smile to your face because it brings me a smile to my face knowing that you're here. Today's video is inspired by a beautiful, perfect fall day. It is not fall time yet, but I really want to like pretend for the day. I finished all of my tasks. I went for my hot girl walk. I got my workout in, I did my editing, and I was like, why should I do the rest of the day? And normally, you know, I just chill the rest of the day and that's what I'm going to do today, but it's going to be fall themed. So it was just going to be with the intention of cozying up. So I was thinking like, what food reminds me of fall time? And the one thing that popped into my head was some fresh homemade mac and cheese. If you guys remember from like a lot of videos ago, if you've been watching me for a while, I made a homemade healthy mac and cheese and it was so good. I was craving it today, but I was looking around and we didn't have any of the ingredients. So I'm gonna do the next best thing, which is Kraft's mac and cheese. I'm gonna make the mac and cheese. I'm gonna also make some lemon pepper chicken, some broccoli, and I feel like that still reminds me of fall time. So I don't have the things that I actually wanna do, but we're just rolling with the punches. And while I get started on the food, let me roll a couple of clips from this weekend when we went to the aquarium. So of course, before heading over to the aquarium, we had to make a quick breakfast stop. We stopped at this Mexican restaurant called Sarape. So let's see what they got. Okay, last time we went to this other restaurant and they had some bus and tacos. So fingers crossed this one matches the vibe. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 We just made it to the parking lot so we can go to the aquarium. I'm so freaking excited. Also, I'm so not used to this, but I cannot take a tripod into the aquarium. So we're gonna do a lot of handheld shots. If it comes out weird, don't blame me. Anyways, here we are walking into the aquarium after getting our tickets checked. They let us in, but they don't open until 10, so we have to wait and they give us a map of the place. It is currently 9.55, the doors open at 10. So we're just waiting, but I have already spotted the penguins. Okay, you can't see it here, but I promise you, it's there's penguins right there. <laughs> and finally, right at the entrance was my favorite exhibit, <laughs> little sea otters. Guys, I can die of happiness. I just love them so much. So let me share three random facts about sea otter that you may or may not already know, but I'm gonna share them anyways. First fun fact is that sea otters are, they use their hands a lot. So when they're trying to like, eat their food, they'll take a little rock, stick it in between their little armpit and use it to crack open their food. Second fun fact is sea otters love to collect rocks and they have a little pouch and they'll stuff their rocks into the little pouch. Is that not the cutest thing ever? And third fun fact is that sea otters will hold paws so that they don't float away while they're sleeping. Isn't that, oh, look at him. He's just, he's so silly. He doesn't give a care in the world and he's just boinking the side of the, the wall there. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure a lot of us probably share this fear, but I am terribly afraid of the ocean and like what's underneath it. This is as close as I could ever get to seeing what is under the ocean. I would probably go scuba diving, but I would be dying on the inside because I'm actually terrified of fish. Yeah, I don't know why. I have a lot of random fears and fish is on the list. Also just like bunches of things. Like if you stuck me in a tank like this with just a bunch of jellyfish fish, I would be, my skin would be it, it, I would have chills, <laughs> basically, is what I'm saying. So it's just really cool to be able to see just some of what lives under the ocean. Because can you believe that literally 80% of the ocean is undiscovered? That is insane to me. And the fact that like literally the ocean, I think is much bigger than anything that is on planet Earth. And there are probably species down there that are like 10 times bigger than a whale you know for all we know honestly like we think the whale is the biggest thing in the ocean but there could be something that's even bigger than a whale that we don't even know of and you know science could be like oh no that's not possible but like how do we know that's not possible when you haven't seen it for yourself you know i don't know that's just the thought that crosses my mind i mean as you could see here there's some there's some pretty big fish now, oh look there's a hammerhead shark 
Love that dude. Saw him on Finding Dory. Hey, I'm a huge fan. I saw you on Dory. Who was it? Hammerhead? Yeah, the Hammerhead shirt. <laughs> and the Stingray. Oh, yeah, that Stingray did. <laughs> that scared me. Oh, man. man. Caught me off guard. I was over there looking at, at the turtle. All right, so while you guys were watching that, I did some quick research, and it says here that the largest known jellyfish has a recorded length of 120 feet or 36.6 meters. This means that the lion's mane jellyfish tops the blue whale in terms of length. Boom. And that says known. That's what we know. There could be something even bigger that we haven't even seen yet. Types of feeding sessions with all of our birds here to keep them mentally and physically stimulated. We want to keep these animals enriched, <laughs> so break cute. up their routines, give them different things to interact with. These are the whales that Dory was jumping on when she was trying to escape this place. Dory and Nemo! Under the sea. So cheese, look. Guys, look at how much trash we produce and then the fishies see this and they're swimming in it. They think it's food. I mean, if I was a fish, I would swim right into that because that looks so pretty. Like I would want to eat that. So I would like to take some time to talk about how our daily actions affect these cuties. First obvious one is how wasteful we are with single use plastic, like plastic straws. I'm guilty of it. I still use them. I'm not saying I won't ever use them again, but I feel like I could definitely be more mindful and start carrying reusable straws with me. I feel like that's something small that could make a huge impact. Another thing that I was thinking about that, you know, I could change in my own personal life is the single use like little veggie bags that you get at the store to separate your fruits and veggies and i was thinking to myself why don't i want to give these up because the main reason why i use them is one to you know keep things separate and two i don't want to put my stuff on the nasty like counter especially because some of your fruits and veggies like you still eat the skin on it and i don't know just the thought of like it touching all of those germs really grosses me out but i was thinking about it like what could i do to still avoid that and I was thinking, you know, I could carry my fruits and veggies in a little reusable bag inside of the store. And then when I get to the counter to like check them out, I could lay one of the single use plastic bags on the counter so that when I'm putting my fruits and veggies on the scale to weigh them, they're not touching the scale. They're touching the one single use plastic bag I laid down. And then I could just transfer it to a reusable bag. And I mean, my fruits and veggies sit in the same compartment. It's just they're all in single plastic bags that end up getting thrown away. And another thing I would like to speak on that not only affects these marine life animals, but also affects us is fast fashion. Fast fashion has grown tremendously over the years. And in fact, we have contributed to its growth with all of these trends that come in and out every like five seconds. And so I want to read something I found on this article. And the source of this is, trust me, bro. <laughs> Just kidding. No, it is from Florida, uh, Florida State University. But anyways, let me read this first to you. It says, the fashion industry is the second most water intensive industry in the world, consuming around 79 billion cubic meters of water per year. That statistic is startling considering 2.7 billion people currently experience water scarcity. Now, we are just as responsible for this growth in fast fashion as the industries that are producing these clothes because money talks. And if we keep giving into these five second trends and we run to these websites to order stuff, they're just going to see this huge growth in demand, which means more money for them. And they're not going to turn money away. So they're just going to keep producing these things without a care of how they're impacting this world. And there's nothing wrong with buying stuff from these places. But what's wrong is buying items that you're only going to wear once and then never again because you only bought it to fit a trend. Oh, that kind of rhymed. <laughs> So instead, I suggest buying pieces that are very versatile and you can wear multiple times. I feel like this comes down to like fashion style, right? Like instead of people having fashion styles, now they're just doing what's trendy. And so it's like, how do we differentiate each other from each other? You get what I'm saying? So, you know, buying staple pieces that you can use in multiple ways. I mean, wouldn't you much rather like have your own thing than to just be like everyone else where in this world, it's 
kind of looked down upon to be like everyone else, but yet everyone is like everyone else because we're just all giving into these trends. Anyways, buying staple pieces, buying clothes that you're actually gonna wear more than one time because you actually like it, not just it being a trend. Also, you know, thrifting, thrifting is great. And I also wanted to share this other um, statistic. I don't know why I feel like I can't say that word, but it says here that um, it takes 2,700 liters of water to make an average cotton t-shirt. That's enough drinking water for one person for 900 days. Now, let me say something my Mexican mother has told me many times before, and I would like to share because I feel like this, this is something that we all need to hear. Let's say, for example, you have $10, and with those $10, you want to buy this purse, but you're also hungry, but you decide to buy this purse. You use your $10 to buy the purse. Now you don't have money, but now you're hungry. My mom would say, well, tu querías bolsa, come bolsa, which translates to you wanted a purse, eat your purse. I feel like that's what it's going to come down to. It's like, what if we get to a point where we're struggling to find water? What are we going to drink? Our clothes? I mean, we literally waste fresh water to make these clothes. And then in turn, that water gets polluted because obviously they use chemicals, they use dyes in order to make these t-shirts. And this water goes back into the ocean. And now these animals are suffering because of us, because of a five second trend. So please, 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 let's start being more mindful about what we're doing when it comes to buying clothes, because yes it's nice to have trendy outfits but like not at the scale at which we're going to where like this stuff is going in and out every five seconds i would much rather someone else have fresh drinking water than me have the latest cute skirt from aritzia or whatever and again this doesn't mean that you're never going to see me buying something from urban outfitters or from aritzia or whatever we're not perfect and i think that we should just be more mindful so that we can live in a world where we can still enjoy these things but not consume them at such a fast pace welcome back besties hope you guys enjoy your trip to the aquarium so i'm cooking the chicken now hold on i got the lid next i'm gonna get started on the mac and cheese but meanwhile i've been cooking up a storm over here and preparing my food i've been listening to folklore by taylor swift i feel like that album just gives me major fall vibes Lunch is served. Tell me that does not remind you of like a fall time meal. It does to me. Now, what reminds you of a fall time entertainment TV show? I'll give you a second. If you said Gilmore Girls, you're correct. Gilmore Girls, I feel like it's just the TV show for fall time. And honestly, Gilmore Girls, it's a long show, but it is such like an easily flowing show. I just love it. It gives me comfort. Also, when I watch TV shows, I kind of like befriend the characters. I don't know if this is weird, but like they're just like they feel like they're my friends, you know, especially if I watch them for so many seasons, I get attached to them and I'm like, I miss my friends. Let me watch them again. <laughs> also, if you've seen Gilmore Girls, can I just say Miss Rory Gilmore grew up to be very toxic, very toxic. Rory reminds me of like a friend or a cousin who I just love very deeply, but I just they just keep messing up and they keep doing a bunch of things and they're like i don't know what's happening but like you're like i know what's happening i know what's happening she wants people to sleep uh, 
We'll tend to the dishes after dessert. What are we having for dessert, you may be asking? Not necessarily a fall specific dessert. I should add, I don't like fall flavored things like pumpkin spice, I'm not a fan of it. I'm sorry, don't click out of this video. But this is what we're having for dessert. They are the Trader Joe's Mini Hold the Cone Ice Creams. This is the chocolate chip flavor. These are, first of all, so freaking cute. Second of all, the perfect size because let me tell you guys, as someone who doesn't really love ice cream, don't get me wrong, I for someone who doesn't love ice cream, I eat ice cream quite a lot. But it's not really something I normally crave. It's like if I have it, I'm gonna have it. But do I want ice cream over like a brownie? No. Do I want an ice cream with brownie? Yes, like mixed together. <sighs> Anyways, these are like the perfect size because it like soothes the itch for wanting ice cream, but it's not overdoing it. What? Well, yesterday I saw you talking to Ava. You know, she's in my booster club. <gasps> she mentioned earlier that uh, you didn't make her, you know, get the plans to hang out. And, uh, so I moved over to the living room now and I'm going to be continuing on with Gilmore Girls. By the way, there are a lot of other shows that I want to get into and that I will get into because like I said, Gilmore Girls is just a very easy watch. So I can like start and stop it whenever I want. But the reason why I wanted to start it now is because every fall time, I always say, oh, I want to watch Gilmore Girls. I want to watch Gilmore Girls to just add to the whole fall effect. But I always end up pushing it off or like waiting till last minute. And then December comes around. I'm like, wait, I got to start watching Christmas movies. You're brave enough to pull a stupid prank like this. I am determined to read this book. So this book I started reading on one chapter two. I literally just started and from what I've read, I know that this is gonna be a good book because I'm already curious to see how it goes, but I just haven't gotten to the part where like I can't put the book down. And so right now I'm having to force myself to read a chapter a day. But once I get to that part where it's like a page turner, then I'll be able to finish it. But my problem with books is that like, I don't really have the patience. And so getting started, it's like the same thing with a TV show, you know, you get started, you gotta make it past the first couple of episodes before it gets really good. I'm gonna force myself to read another chapter and it is my goal to finish reading this book before September ends. Wake me up. Sorry, I had to do it. Whatever, Lucas. <laughs> Mia, you know anything about toasters? Not a damn thing. Hey. Let's sit down, let me get you some coffee. Didn't see you there. <laughs> Decided to reheat up some of the macaroni because I started to get hungry again. And in about like two and a half hours, my dad's gonna get off of work and we're gonna go grocery shopping. And since we're going grocery shopping, I don't have to cook dinner, which means we're gonna go out to eat. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed my dad wants Taco Bell because I've kind of been craving Taco Bell but we don't go to Taco Bell that often but I want some Taco Bell anyways it is currently August 31st <gasps> four 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 what I can't speak okay my phone should say it four 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 do you see it I don't know it's probably gonna change by the time this thing focuses Ugh. of course anyways we saw four 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 but it is currently August 31st, which means tomorrow is September 1st. And I gotta get myself ready to start off the month strong, you know? I always preach to you guys that you don't have to wait till the new month to start on your goals. But since we're already here, it's the perfect time to get started. And I ran out of my pre-workout the other day, so I need to restock on my pre-workout. I also I need some eye drops and I ran out of them a long time ago and I didn't like get them again. Cause I was like, oh, it's just a seasonal allergy thing, but no. I tend to have dry eyes pretty often. Also, I'm like really debating on getting some green superfood, but I want like the digestive and bloating one, but I want to try the Bloom Nutrition one. However, they only sell it on the Bloom website. Like, can't you just sell it at the vitamin shop or GNC so I can add it with my order, make it easier for me? <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna continue watching Gilmore Girls. I was also uh, filming a voiceover 
for my video and now I'm gonna put my shoes on so that we can go meet my dad. Actually, I think I'm gonna do Crocs. I'm just gonna wear my green Crocs and call it a day. Oh, I forgot my purse. Let me get my purse. Okay, I'm here and I'm looking at all these flosses. What's the difference in these prices? Cause it's just a string, right? But I don't want to go for the cheapest one. So I'm just going to go for the 197 one. It's an upgrade, I think. Wait, how much floss does this have? Okay, that one only has one more yard. So I'm going to go for this one. 